How are you? Um, first Very of all, congratulations on Manager of the Month and to Harry as well uh, for Player of the Month. Um, with, with Harry, and, I thought And the goal, goal of the month. And goal of the month as well. Uh, got a hat-trick. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey. Um, I think it's quite interesting because when you look at Harry Maguire and the conversations around him at the start of the season, Scott McTominay as well, they've, they've kind of turned their United careers around, haven't they? Is that fair? I think if you have a squad, and in that squad is internal competition, and if you want to have a successful season, you need more than 11 players. And... Yeah, uh, finally, and there's in every season, it will turn in every season what is the best team. And yeah, from uh, they were here, they are great players and they played themselves in the team. And yeah, so that is what you expect from every player. This has to be the dedication uh, from every player uh, to aim for this. I just thought it was quite interesting that. I know you answered it a bit on Wednesday night about the, the crisis at Manchester United, which, which you've played down. You're only three points behind Manchester City. So does the narrative need to change? So we know where we are going. And yeah, we had our setbacks, especially in the start of the season. Uh, a lot of things went against us with injuries, uh, with uh, decisions. And sometimes you find yourself as a team in such a place and yeah, you have to deal with it. And then you see the character of the team. But we fought back and I think we are now in a better place. We are in a better form. Um, uh, you see the performances are increasing. We are improving as a team and as individuals. And you see you get a stronger belief. But we also know we have to be very sharp in every game because you all, we also know that this league is very competitive and you see it um, in the results recently, this week as well. Uh, everyone kills everyone, so you need to be ready for every game. Um, Eric, Marcus Rashford was obviously taken out of the side on Wednesday night. Have you seen a reaction from him to that decision? He, so, Rashford is an incredible good player and um, you can't do it with 11 players and also he can't play every game and um, yeah he's not in this moment in the shape in the form where he was last year but I, I'm sure he will get there. The, the game against Chelsea in terms of chances created and so on arguably one of the best of the season how difficult will it be for Marcus to get back into the side given the way he played? That is so what I said about Scott McTominay what I said about Harry Maguire it's up to them uh, so finally we'll always uh, the team will line themselves up and the best players forms uh, who forms the best team who constructs the best team they will play uh, Fraser um, you've never lost to um, Bournemouth um, in Premier League in the recent times um, how important is it that you continue um, the confidence that you found at home uh, into this game this time around uh, so I think they have also a very good form Bournemouth <laughs> so it's uh, um, we, we have, of course, we have seen them, and it's a very good side. It's very good constructed, the team, uh, capable players. Yeah, you have again, you have to play your best. And as I said in previous question, uh, everyone is killing everyone, and so you you have to be 100% ready as a team for that game. And so that's our job to do, and to get there. Peace. Eric, how difficult is it this weekend with your selection? Because I know the next game is always the most important, but you have a very, very important game on Tuesday as well. So how, how difficult is the selection dilemma this weekend? I, as, as a manager, uh, with my coaches, um, with the rest of the staff, of course, you have all say, always considerations and we take everything in account. But as you say, the next game is all, always the most important. And especially uh, in the Premier League, where everyone is killing everyone, yeah, you need a very strong team. How delighted have you been with, with Scott and Harry? Because as, as, as has already been mentioned, we wondered what was happening with them at the start of the season, but Scott already now is he's scoring lots of goals. How big a surprise is that for you? No, actually, from the first moment I saw, he has, um, he has a very good smell to making the box and he is a very good finisher. So in... Um, yeah, so that's not a surprise eh? when he, when the team, when we bring him in the way we want to play him in the position 
when we get the balls there, yeah, he will finish. Uh, last question in this section, uh, Andy Mason. Hi, Rick. Can I ask you about Luke, what he brings to the team technically, tactically, and his presence in the dressing room? Yeah, to start with that last, um, I think a lot. He, I think he's a player where others can build on. He gives belief and confidence to other players. Um, so the, the, the teammates around him, they feel comfortable. Uh, he, will, uh, he will deal with difficult situations and he will set up uh, and take initiative to, to create. So yeah, uh, it strengthens absolutely the team. So, uh, so his first in his presence, his personality, but then also he has the skill set uh, with his physicality, uh, so, so strong. Uh, also technical, very good. Uh, so yeah, he's a high-profile player, and so we are happy he's back in.